is asked, it's one of those fundamental questions, which, if you can write, you could write an entire book about and retire on, because it's such a big question. Art covers our entire life, from the advertisements we see in the paper, or the uh, products we buy. Everything is art. Taking something inanimate and giving it life. This is very, very early art. It's a replica from the British Museum, and it's the original is woolly mammoth ivory. So, this is a resin copy. It's one of 54 in the entire world, and I think it's one of the most beautiful things I own. I say that about probably everything, but if I'm truly honest, I love this. It's two reindeers, a male one. You can see it's. Um, stripes swimming over a river. This is the male one, this is the female one. It's interpreted that the female one is holding on to the male one's tail as they swim across the river. Woolly mammoth ivory is incredibly hard, just like modern elephant's ivory. So to make this, the people who carved it must have worked very, very hard and were incredibly talented. To rep I don't know if you've ever tried, but if I try and sketch, it looks dreadful. So, if you've ever tried, you can really respect the level of work that's gone into this. It's phenomenal. I lose myself in this every time I see it. When it comes to actually making something similar, Stone Age people would have used a tool just like this. This is a replica again of a flint drill. This is a piece of um, deer horn and it's nowhere as hard as uh, ivory but it's actually really hard to impact. I've made a few little scratches, it's only taken off the top. To make these grooves, and if you notice this tool actually goes into those grooves quite nicely. To make those requires a lot of hard work, which isn't quite what you expect from delicate art. We can make these scratches, you can see little bits coming off, but the impact on it isn't that much. This tool has got cutting sides here, the drill goes on, you turn it round and round and round, that what makes the hole. That's a machined hole, but you can see how that works. Round and round and round and round it will eventually bore a hole. So I cheated there, but it's just to demonstrate. Turn, turn, turn. I remember one man who was uh, doing experimental archaeology saying that everything takes a long time in this stone age. And that would take ages. Take two seconds with a modern drill. This takes ages. You also have a plane here. The plane is to make things flat, so if I manage not to cut myself, that would be a great thing. Scrape it like that, we can get a flat surface. I can tell you, my skill set is not in art, it might be in criticising art, and I can tell you this is the most beautiful thing, lots of hard work, maybe there's another artist out there, well maybe there's an artist out there who would be able to replicate something similar, would love to see it but I'm going to leave you there and have a cup of tea. Thanks so much. This is a replica from the British Museum. It's actually one of 54 in the entire world. And it's got a fly on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>